Rainbow Mountain, also known as the Mountain of Seven Colors, is a mountain located in the Andes Range of Peru at an altitude of 17,100 feet above sea level. It takes about two to three hours to drive from Cusco, a city in Peru known for its archaeological remains and Spanish colonial architecture. In order to see the spectacular views of this mountain, you have to hike through a trail which is, again, a three-hour round trip, so it takes around four to five hours to reach there from the city of Cusco. However, you cannot see Rainbow Mountain without hiking or taking an hour-long horse ride. The best views are from the lookouts from 5,200 meters above sea level. Hence, it is advised to start as early as possible so that you can have some buffer time to enjoy the view and return back. The best time to visit the site is during the months of July and August because it's the dry season there, and it provides a beautiful view of the mountain, maximizing the vivid colors. This mountain became famous when a couple of tourists went there around 2011 to 2014 and took a picture. It was the era when social media platforms were just born, and not that much popular. Everyone was not having access to smartphones and fancy gadgets. The oxygen level at Rainbow Mountain is approximately 40% lower than at sea level, which means that visitors may experience altitude sickness symptoms such as headaches, shortness of breath, and dizziness. It is recommended that visitors to Rainbow Mountain acclimate themselves to the altitude by spending a few days in Cusco or other nearby areas before attempting to hike to the summit. Additionally, it is important to stay hydrated and avoid alcohol and strenuous physical activity in order to minimize the risk of altitude sickness. After seeing this, you might be wondering why this mountain is so colorful and how it all happened. Well, the reason is due to the presence of various minerals in the soil. The red color is because of the presence of iron, specifically in claystones. The mustard yellow color comes from calcareous sandstones, which are rich in sulfurous minerals. The pink color is due to red clay. The earthy brown color is because of the presence of magnesium in the fanglomerate rock, which belongs to the Quaternary period. White is due to quartz, sandstones and marls, which are rich in calcium carbonate. And finally, green is due to phyllites and clays, rich in ferromagnesium. Around 2015, a Canadian mining company got captivated by the presence of minerals and tried to seek mining approval from the ministry, which was approved in 2018. But due to increased international attention to the site, tourism followed by public protests and concerns raised by the National Chamber of Tourism, the decision was taken back. By 2019, it was established as one of the regional conservation areas. Thanks for watching this video. Do like and subscribe to see more videos like this.